How's it going, everybody? Oh my gosh. Hi. Uh, you're dead. You're done. You're done. No, I didn't want to pick up the XP. Shoot. Ah. Well, how's it going? Oh my god. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, how's it going, everybody? Decisive TV here. I'm back for another video on our Let's Play world. And today I kind of want to I kind of want to make an XP farm. I'm not going to lie. I found a monster spawner while I was caving earlier i thought that would be the perfect opportunity it's just right over there around around that area i gotta go find the hole uh and yeah yeah uh but i made an anvil uh because ow uh because i want to put this mending book on there i know it has aqua affinity in protection three but the mending part is like the most valuable part uh and obviously our pickaxe is really close to passing away on us so uh i don't want this pickaxe to break <laughs> and i don't want to accidentally use it okay come here skeleton I, I know you see me hi now hey stop stop it yeah give me that xp so uh i did not look for a mo oh my god those are huge trees i never even realized uh. but i never looked for a mod for the oh hey Look at that. Nice. Uh, for the the advanced tooltips to always be on, where you don't have to press the, the F3 H key. Uh, any more people want to give me XP? So I can have my pick back? <laughs> this this uh, XP farm is going to be very, very useful, especially now that we have a mending tool, but I heard something. Okay, maybe I'm going crazy, but yeah, so... Uh, I didn't look for that advanced soul tip thing, uh, and I'm very much regretting it. Also, sorry, my uh, <laughs> my voice is probably going to sound very nasally in this video again. I don't know what's happening. I think something at work, uh, they used like a seasoning or something like that for something, and it's uh, it's messing with my sinuses a lot. It's uh, I I'm having. A lot of congestion today. I don't know why. Uh, but hopefully that goes away tomorrow. Because this is not very fun. Uh, well, I was going to go around that way. But I guess not. So, uh, now that we're done with that net mending trip. Let's... I need to go into the nether. And I... Oh, I need to get another bucket of water. But I made a bunch of signs so uh, we can do do something make a make a water elevator oh there you are yeah give me that xp oh no oh i didn't have oh i didn't have my uh my pickaxe out wait i don't have a pickaxe to mine those wait can i mine? i can mine the quartz to get xp to repair my pick while i mine the quartz guys i might be a genius <laughs> Definitely didn't forget the uh, the dirt underneath or for the, the pumpkins to grow in last video or anything like that. Move out of the way. What are you doing? You're like a bad driver. Sweet. Okay, so maybe we can repair a pick a little bit like this. Because um, I, I will need it today. And i really just don't want to spend too long because i i am again one once again i am in the time crunch even more than ever making this video i don't have a lot of time so we got to that's not cool you know that out of all the places for that lava to be it had to be right there how unlucky dude nothing really fun down there uh that is a sword man i do not like that oh wait i have gold boots on what am i talking about uh but yeah how's you guys this day going hopefully it's going okay uh by the time this comes out it should be friday i i always record these like the day before i'm not gonna lie um not to date my episode or anything like that but i always always make them the day before because it just it works it works with my schedule and you know i have impulsive thoughts all the time so it, why not 
but yeah, hopefully you guys this Friday is going pretty good. Um, whether or not it, it's over for you or if it's just begun. Uh, oh, actually, I think by the time this comes out, everybody would be uh, pretty well done with their Friday for the most part. But hopefully you guys go out, you do something with your friends or family, or you just stay inside and you watch this video and you enjoy a nice cup of uh, whatever your favorite drink is. <laughs> a nice cup of hot soda. Well, sure. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and put that there. So, oh yeah, need to get some more. I completely forgot to get the soul sand that I needed. Oh my god, dude. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay, I got I got the bucket of water at least. Hi, Piggy. You're gonna be my food later in the series. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're gonna be a little pork chop soon. Okay, let's go back into the nether. I swear, I hear a skeleton somewhere. I might be schizophrenic. I don't. I don't even know. Uh. Okay. So I need to get. Oh wait, there's a soul sand valley right over there, right? I'm pretty sure we discovered that in the fifth episode, the episode where we came here. Uh, it surprises me a lot how many new viewers we get each episode. I know it's still fairly early into the series. But it, it's still pretty astonishing uh, how many people are coming to the channel um, each episode. It's pretty awesome, too. I, I like seeing new faces each video, and the fact that YouTube is actually recommending the videos is pretty awesome. <laughs> so uh, the, the more the merrier. The bigger community we have, the more fun we can have, right? Eventually, I want to do... Uh, some awesome stuff with you guys. I think that would be pretty cool. Have some like community interactive sort of stuff would be awesome. Um, obviously with prizes and stuff like that. But but that that's a while down the road, right? Right? It's not gonna happen by next week. <laughs> no, that would be that would be absolutely insane. But that would that would have to be the craziest growth in YouTube history to like from from 30 subs to like i don't even know what point we would need to be at but i want to do something uh with our community eventually uh whenever it reaches that point where it, it can be sustainable to to do so so i don't think we need oh it's starting to become nighttime let's go ahead and sleep yeah yeah i can't i can't i can't sleep yet it's not nighttime enough um, yeah, so we don't really need to make it too fancy down there, right? Uh, eventually I will go through, eventually this house will get built, by the way. I know somebody was asking a couple episodes ago and it will be built eventually. <laughs> I, I just, I, I need to find the time. I need to get the right time, uh, in order to, to, uh, build this, um, I'll be able to have enough time in a couple days, I, I think probably we'll see um but yeah eventually we're gonna get that house done eventually i'm gonna uh, be able to pretty up uh everywhere so like you know we're not gonna live in a shit shack anymore i'm gonna make an actual spot for this portal uh eventually i'll uh tidy up the the farm area where it won't just be functional but it'll also be functional and good looking um Maybe we'll have like build specifically for those, but we'll see what happens. I don't know where this world is going to go. I don't know how long everything is going to take, but obviously with these videos, videos, you know, I play for like maybe an hour a day, hour and a half, depending on how long the, the project takes per video. So it's not like I'm playing on this world the entire time. Um, and I'm definitely not doing a bunch of off-camera work <laughs> as you guys can probably tell so uh yeah let's let's head over to where that mob spawner is we gotta we gotta find it somewhere uh i also made the hole all the way down and it, it's like a deep sleigh level 
it's uh it's pretty far down there um should be around here oh hi mr cow you showed me the way thank you so if i just i'll just drop a water bucket down Okay, it just didn't make it all the way down here yet. That that was crazy. Um, yeah. So it's just a mo uh, or a zombie spawner. It's nothing too fancy. There's a there's a few things in here. I guess I'll take the bread. But two other side discs is kind of weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you guys, it's kind of weird. The hell? Oh yeah, there's a zombie probably on the other side, right? Oh, and it got rid of the torch so now mobs are gonna be able to spawn son of a bitch gotta light up over here make sure make sure nothing's gonna hurt us it's like right up there and that is so annoying damn it uh all right so we just gotta we gotta mine this stuff out let's go ahead and let's put it oh hi i'm pretty sure the spawn radius for uh the mob spawner is a four by four area or, or uh, not not a four by four area my bad uh you can go out four blocks so it's a, a nine by nine area i guess speaking of mob spawners are you guys excited for the 1.21 updates uh the trial spawners and stuff like that have been shown so uh maybe Maybe uh, this this update will be kind of an adventurous update. They'll, they're going to add a few more mobs. They're going to add the trial chambers, which look really awesome. Uh, maybe they'll add uh, other stuff <laughs> that will like improve the, the adventure quality of Minecraft. Going out and wanting to search your world, trying to find new stuff, right? It kind of sucks that we have... Uh, this mob spawner down at deep slate level but i couldn't find any other ones around mostly because i didn't want to search for hours upon hours because again time crunch impulsively making video at like 8 p.m because <laughs> i work i work five days a week uh and this week has been super duper busy for the past few days at the beginning of the week it wasn't too bad but it just progressively got worse and worse <laughs> uh so tomorrow uh with friday shouldn't be too bad uh, i looked at the what we had on the schedule for tomorrow and it didn't look too crazy so i guess we'll see how that goes but you never know sometimes things just happen and you can't, you can't, like, do anything about it. So, just as long as it's not, like, a 12-hour a day, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> I do, do not want my Friday to be a very long day. That would suck. First pickaxe is down. RIP, Iron Pick. He died for the cause. Okay, well, uh, we just got the 9x9 nine nine room. Uh, all marked out, I believe, right? Four, 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 four. Yes, perfect. Uh, so we can go ahead and I think we can just, yeah, we'll just place these and fill this in, fill in the walls. Uh, yeah, needs to go out to here. So we need to make the entrance here. Make sure we can get in and out of here, right? Probably a pretty important step. I know it's it's hard to forget sometimes that you know you need to you need to have an uh, in and out way. Oh. Oh wait, you can edit signs now. I completely forgot. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm. So shit <laughs> hopefully that didn't mess anything up that looks really weird but it works uh so i did i do need another bucket of water so i think i might just go all the way back up uh can i can my character swim eh, go come on come on uh decisive 
please. Please, you can make it. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're so good. We are gold in. It's becoming nighttime. Uh, let's just drop down. So we can do this. Um, I'm going to make something super duper old school. I don't know if you guys remember. This is how water elevator. Oh, I'm kind of silly. Why don't I just do this? No, actually, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's just put a bunch of fucking signs everywhere. Why not? Uh, yes. And then should be able to fill these up. Oh my god. And then we're going to need to make another hole so we can drop down. Then we can just put a thing in there. Uh... Cover this up so we don't have to look at it. <laughs> there we go. Um, so as we climb this thing, we're going to need a... Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, I, ooh. I need to get kelp. I think. Right? I think you use... Shit. <laughs> All right, we'll just we'll just do this. Well, eh, eh, eh. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. I'm just, yeah. No. Just gotta place, gotta, gotta place some water. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut until. <laughs> Once I get back up on the surface, I'll be back with you guys. It's definitely going to be daytime by the time that happens, though. Oh, my God. All right, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we are back on the surface, and it is nighttime, and I'm scared. So, I ended up going and getting some kelp. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, my God. There are so many of you. Stop. 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 Stop it. They hurt. They hurt so much. Um, well, I don't know where I was. Uh, yeah, so I went and got some kelp, so we should be able to go down there. I'm going to take a dirt block real quick. So we should be able to put the kelp down on the dirt block, and we should be able to come all the way up here, um, and it should fill it in. So drop down here, and hopefully I don't die. Cool. Successful mission. Uh, so we just put that there and then we go all the way up. So I just got to hold this down until I get all the way up. Uh, uh, uh. Fun times. Oh, and then I got to... And just spam the torches. Perfect. That works. Okay. Keep her going. Hopefully I don't need more than like two and a half stacks of kelp because that's all I brought with me. Oh my god. Oh well, we're almost at the surface, so. There we go. So that should now be a full uh, water source column. And then all we got to do is break this, put that there, and it should be a completely solid column. Oh, yeah. Dude, this has to be, like, one of the best features in the game, to be honest. That, like, being able to place kelp and, like, make a, a full water source block, absolutely amazing. Especially since, you know, it came in 1.13 and all this stuff that happened back then, too. Just perfect. Perfect timing. Well thought out. Good job, Moji. The killing chamber, I think we can have over meow. Over meow? Yeah, over meow. Let's go ahead, dig that out, and I'll put slabs around here so no baby zombies can fucking kill us. Because that would. That sounds really weird. I don't know. <laughs> Completely random, but that just sounds really, really odd to me. 
Uh, let's go ahead. We'll do... Clean this up a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely rough, you know. I did bring some deep slate tiles down, so we can make it look a little fancy. Wow, so, so beautiful. So gorgeous. I should have brought the stone cutter down as well. We could have made some, like, bricks or something like that. Actually, do I have... I guess we have iron here. Oh, I don't have a crafting table. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get the stone cutter from our base. Or, I can just cut down a tree, make a crafting table, and then make the stone cutter. Because we probably should have a crafting table down there anyway, right? Alright, let's make a crafting table. And we'll do that. And then... Need some cobble to make a furnace, so we can make, actually, no, I only need one. Let's go ahead and do that. We also need to make some smooth stone. Is there any, any coal? No, of course there's not. Shit. Uh, let's just use stone planks. Or stone plank, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy, listen here. I, I don't know why I just said, but that was not. Not the right term at all. What the fuck did I just say? I guess for the top bit here, we can... We can do... Andresite. Andresite. If you guys know anybody named Andre, you should call them Andresite and see what they say. And they'll be like, the hell does that mean? You'd be like, you're a stone. You're a stone from Minecraft. You're Andresite. Perfect. Uh, let's cook up three, I think. That's all it takes to make a stone cutter, right? Stone cutter. Yes, three stone. Perfect. So I know we have a bunch of andesite down at the uh, the cafe, uh, especially from last video, since I had to mine out that entire area. But And I would go get it, but why would I do that whenever I can just get andesite here in like, tidy this place up as well you know like we gotta think this through think mark what will you have after 500 years dude that if you guys have never watched invincible you gotta watch it it is probably one of the best animated shows of its style that i have ever seen ever and that's like huge I love Invincible. Definitely one of the best shows uh, of our of our time. Of course, behind Attack on Titan. Can't, can never, ever, nothing can ever beat Attack on Titan, I don't think. That, that show is just so thought out. Okay. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Actually, I guess we can use it as like a, a segment separator or something like that you know gotta get rid of this you know i'm focusing more on this than the actual functionality for once kind of crazy okay so actually going into here uh wait i need to put some blocks down there we go so going into here we need to drop this down by one i think and all we gotta do is or two we need to drop it down by two. Um, just so if the... Or whenever the zombies spawn, they don't spawn and try and swim on the water and accidentally hit their head on the, the mob spawner. That would not be swag money. But all we gotta do is push them one way. Anyways, yeah, so uh, I accidentally, I paused my recording so I could do a little cut and uh, come back to this being mined out. And I uh, ended up mining out this part right here, which is just a water stream that leads all the way down. Uh, and then there's a bubble column down here if I go down into free cam. Uh, so there's a ball, uh, bubble column elevator that leads up 22 blocks. And it'll lead up here. The zombies will go all the way over here. Go into the drop chute right here. Fall 20 
20 blocks, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You know, I think somewhere I miscalculated, but uh, I, I guess I'll have to fix that. But the fall down, the fall 22 blocks, I think is what it's supposed to be. Uh, and they will be one hit then, or they should be. Uh, some of them are going to spawn with armor, especially since we're playing on hard difficulty. There's going to be a lot more armored ones, so they won't be one hit. But for the, the vast majority of the zombies spawning in here, they will be one hit. Yeah, but they go up the bubble column, they fall, they're one hit, and we just boop, and they're all dead. Is the dream. So I got to go get a another pick from our base uh, so I can get rid of these blocks and uh, fix that issue that I accidentally did, uh, the 14 blocks. So yeah, I will be right back once again with you guys. And we are back. Okay, so I removed those blocks and I increased the... Uh, the, the the fall distance so they go down here the same as normal but I uh, increased how far they have to go all the way up so then they drop down a little bit and then this should be a 22 block fall so they fall all the way down here splat and then they should be a one hit kill with my iron sword maybe even with my fist but you know gonna use my iron sword because of the the sweeping edge uh, i don't have that enchant but you know it's still a sweeping edge even without the enchant of course uh so all we gotta do now is get rid of these torches i believe let's go ahead boop and boop oh my god that was immediate so let's do that so they should push each other there is that one block gap between the the bubble elevator and the the water that's pushing them so i tried to fix that with the stair i thought there was a trick that you could do with the stair but i guess i was wrong i don't know um if you guys have any tips for that let me know because i try to make them go from the level up uh so the soul, soul sand block is here and then the water is right here i try to use a stair to make them go up um because i know there's weird water tricks you can do with that but it does not seem like they are wanting to go up why not what are you guys stuck on okay they are attracted to me and it, they are not wanting to move at all what is happening that's so many zombies dude they hurt they hurt my ears. They're so loud. Stop it. Okay, I gotta, like, run this way, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how they're still locked onto me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So, oh. Okay, so it's a two-hit kill. Well, sometimes. That's weird that... Maybe I need a... Do I need to put, like... A slab or something right there because they a few of them i think they're jumping at the top of the the waterfall up there causing them to oh my gosh okay i gotta i gotta turn these guys down holy uh causing them to instantly die so they they like jump at the the top up there if i can okay i cannot squeeze through but it seems like we're getting a few zombies. Not as many as I was hoping. Because for some reason they're still stuck. I don't know who or what they're looking at. I don't know how. The good news is it seems like we are getting the XP that we want. For the most part. It's definitely not efficient. Oh, hey, now now they're starting to go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Just like Vector said. Oh, yeah. Um, That's all right. Uh, we're definitely going to need a spot for all of 
the uh, the goodies that we get out of these guys, also known as run and flesh, but mostly XP. Uh, maybe I should bring an enchanting table down here so we can just quickly, uh, quickly enchant. But yeah, so that's going to be it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new here. There's so many new faces coming to the channel. I just appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for all the continued support on these videos. It, it, it means a whole lot to know that you guys are still enjoying this series. So, yeah. Thank you all. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.